Beautiful. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington, pressing the little buttons there. <laughs> XFM 104.9. What's that? What's that little mmm? Well- I uh, think I do more than press the buttons. Right, see, this is- this is it, right? Carl has had a little strop on since last night, okay? And <laughs> it's- <laughs> He's had a little strop on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did- you said strop on. <laughs> I just wanted to clarify. <laughs> and, uh, it's- I don't- I don't know why. He says that I'm an annoying person. He yeah. says that I wound him up, right? Um, which I don't know. He, he says that you're- you're winding up because you're sort of like negative about I'm everything. I'm negative. Yeah. And um, but what I think it is, is because we pointed out that his lateness is unacceptable. Yeah. He said, meet you at six. He turned up at twenty past. He said, well someone stopped me in the corridor. I don't care. I've got stuff to do. I'm we have stuff to do. I think we're a bit busier than you, Carl. You've got one job. We've got loads of jobs. I keep telling you that. Yeah. You've got one job in a little room, a nine to five there, that you don't even get done in nine to five. That's why you're late and mucking around all the yeah, time. Yeah, because there's loads of work to do. Yeah, one right. job. No, cool. it's not. It's just one job with a lot of other jobs in it. It's like those little Russian dolls you get. <laughs> right? Well, it's so not, is it? Go. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Everyone thinks, oh, he only sits in his studio messing about, making songs a phrase. That's what I do in my free time. <laughs> Which we've got coming up later. <laughs> <laughs> Super slick. <laughs> oh, I still dear. think twenty minutes late is an outrage. Though, yeah, Carl. twenty minutes late is. Yeah, but I didn't say bang on six. I said you said six. six. No, you didn't. You said six, which means six. Well, it doesn't. Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, what? it doesn't. If it was a news reader, I'd say yeah, you've got to be on time. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> if it was a six o'clock news, I wouldn't want to be late. But it's the fact that I said to you, I'm busy. I've got stuff no, to no, do. No, no, you didn't say that. You said uh, six o'clock to sort out tomorrow's show. I didn't. I know what I said. So yeah, well, well, that, so. well uh, you don't, because I remember you sent me a text. You didn't even. It wasn't even a phone call. You didn't even the politeness to call. Stephen has stitched him up by being a, a little bit more busy. precise than him. It was a text, and it said, uh, "See you around six tomorrow?" Question mark. Around. You just said it. Well, you were six. It that doesn't yeah. count. That doesn't mean anything. Well, yeah, no, it does. What? So let, all right, you Rick. told me he said six. Well, he did. I'm, I'm paraphrasing. Six o'clock, Rick. To me, it, around, even if it was around six o'clock, oh. that would be five to six oh. or five past six. It would not be twenty minutes oh. after the event, because yeah. that is late. Yeah. Well, you can't even. You can't. You've got nothing. You see, you haven't even got an excuse. Yeah, but then I turned up, right, yeah. and I said, right, well, let's not argue about this. Let's come up with some good new features because we've been in. Uh, cheapest chimps. That's Brilliant. gone today. <laughs> Good news. <laughs> he never, he never liked cheapest chimps, Carl, right, did he? Right, he never liked it. Do you know what? what? Do you know who's took it further? Go Donald McIntyre. What? He's doing, he's doing a program, cheapest chimps. <laughs> no, he's, he's not. not doing a channel f well, well, we'll see. Again, I'll prove you right. Again, he's, he's not. Wrong. He's not doing a program, cheapest chimps, is he? Is. He's not. What do you mean? He's doing a tour of trail on Channel Five, and it was saying. You know, is it five this. or is it about twenty past five? He's do doing this. He's done that. You know, now see him on Channel Five because he's moved to Channel Five. Right. He's saying first big problem, uh, chimps. You know, the deer and that. And, uh, <laughs> no, they're not deer. He's sort of getting confused. No, no, f f fifty odd grand for a chimp. And he's saying, you know, he'll look into how much you can get gorilla for. <laughs> what are you? What are in the name of God are you talking about? We'll talk about that later. But I don't know. What, I don't know. Oh, what? I'm just saying that that's another idea. And then, yeah, yeah. So, so go on. You got off. This is why you never get <laughs> stuff done, and you're yeah. late. You got off the point. You were talking about arriving late. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying to you now. I'm just saying. I turned up late, so I said, right. Well, let's not argue. Yeah. I said, let's do some stuff. Yeah. You weren't having any of it. I think at one point you were trying to be sick on my leg. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why? Just, just for fun. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I, that's when I started getting annoyed. <laughs> he was very annoyed last night. <laughs> no, uh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that, I, I can see where that could be annoying, but you just gotta think, hey look, so what? It's, you know. Well, well. I think you rub each other up the wrong way. Yeah. We had an email saying, because I've got a bad back, um, am I squeezing Carl's head? Well, I've already had a little squeeze, didn't I, about half hour ago, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, you, you, sure. gotta, you, you just gotta be careful, because I, I don't, I don't want any strain, so I'd say t keep still, whatever happens, and he's, you're right about there. Yeah. Could I have a squeeze? You know, just to s while you're not really kind of capable. He's allowed to squeeze it, isn't he? Because is I've never squeezed it once. I've never Remember, sideways, it. temples, go quite hard but not too hard. Yeah. Front to back, go as hard as you like, because that's All right, well I'll just have a try now. Have a go No, no, you've got a bucket. He sorted it out. He says every Saturday between yeah, one and two. I'm taking over from him because Yeah, no, let him, let him have one squeeze. Let him have one squeeze. Let him have one squeeze. Have a go, have a go then. So, at the, s the, the front no. and the back. Yeah, yeah no, go, go, get, get round. Get round so you've got- that's it, right, now. Use your- use the thing that's like that. Not too hard at the front? No, really hard at the front and back. 
There you go. Yeah. You got the hang of it. Oh right. god, it's Ooh. good fun. I, I see know. how you like it. Well, I like it. Just side. Just. I right. It's great fun. Yeah. It's great. And the, you know, there's a little bit of you know grip there with the the short hair, but obviously yeah. not too much. There's not much up there up top. Good, isn't it? Good. Yeah, I'll, I'll be doing that again next week. Do you know? I got a form, right? Do you know I'm staff here, right? I'm, I'm like on the staff, I'm, yeah. I'm one of the staff. Got some internal mail the other day that you have to fill out about if you die at work, who gets your money. He says, uh, do you put yourself at any danger? <laughs> 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 uh, what, do, what did you say? Well, I asked Suzanne, I said, does that, you know, head squeezing, head squeezing is that enough? Oh, well, but my leg lock round your ribs that time when I, I had you, it was like, uh, like a little alligator, like a python and an alligator, didn't I? You get quite some, you know, you get a little bit of oh, leverage, you can crush a man's ribs with you, yeah. with mighty legs. Think how many people think, oh, Carl, he gets to, gets to drink and sit. Yeah. <laughs> well, you were making a cup of tea and I surprised, didn't I? Little surpri it's little surprises. Steve, you know last night, do you know when I left the pub in a bit of a mood because yeah. I, I just fed up with not getting anything done? Yeah. Walking down the road I was thinking, how can I get out of this? How can I stop having to work with them? I'm thinking, I wonder if I, if I leave, I wonder if they'll be funny and they'll go, and then my boss will be giving me stick, and I'm thinking, how long, how much notice have I got to give out? How, how, and all this is going through my mind, I'm walking home and I got in, said to Suzanne, I'm sick of it, she's going, you need to do it when I get a new kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, but how big does the kitchen need to be? I was saying, do we need a big kitchen? Can we get a small one? Have we got enough for a small kitchen? Do we need so many cupboards? Can we just have wood instead of steel? <laughs> All this, try to get out of doing this. Yeah. It's always just, I always feel like, you know, cause I, I like to think that I'm not perhaps as bad as him. Yeah, no. You annoy me in different ways. <laughs> like what? How does he annoy you? Well, stuff, stuff that, you know, I, I come up with ideas, say yeah. cheap as chimps. Yeah. Uh, rock busters springs yeah. to mind. Yeah. Uh, 15 like Taiwan. Uh, <laughs> 15 Taiwan. Let's just remind people what 15 Taiwan was. It was a little feature that I wanted to give a run, you know. Give it a little run, see if people like it. Uh, the premise we'll, being? No, there's no premise, it's just a title. No, we were gonna get 15 sort of ornaments, you'd explain them, and then people would call up and say, <laughs> that one's from Taiwan. <laughs> see, Carl, you just explained why I didn't think that was a good idea. Yeah, By yeah. explaining the good- the No, so you know the funny thing is, Steve, right, I was walking down Regent Street on Monday, walked past one of these big stores, right, and they've got all famous quo quotes on the windows. Right? Yeah. And one of them was something like, an absurd idea is often a great idea. Yeah. Do you know who said that? Go on. Einstein. Yes. Which made me wonder, if you were his mate, would he ever have done E equals MC squared? Or would you have said, don't bother with that, it's not gonna work? Because that's all you seem to do, everything I come up with, yeah. you put down. Yeah. Well that's one thing, he's negative, right, I don't know, I don't know why, I don't okay. know why he is. What yeah. else? He messes me about, I get him concert tickets for stuff, and, yeah. and you say, oh, I didn't bother going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that is annoying. You come in, w you know, five minutes to go with tracks that need editing. Yeah. 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 The little bag, yeah. that bag that was free. Yeah, you got a free bag today, an yeah. XFM little rucksack thing. Yeah. yeah. You were like, oh, what's this, what's this rubbish? Yeah. Ricky said, I'll have it, they're great. You yeah. said, no, oh, I want it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's so, free, I need it. Yeah. Um, I'll give that as a well, gift or something. So, so, I mean, I think on reflection, Steve is probably a little bit more annoying than me. Mm. <laughs> I, w I won't go that far. <laughs> you are, you are annoying. If I had to go away for a week somewhere, yeah. if it was a quiet place- Well you are again, aren't you? That's two orders you had this week, this year, I mean. If it was a busy place, I'd probably go with you, cos people, do you know what I mean, staring at me all the time and that, if I'm walking around with Steve. <laughs> no, I'm just- <laughs> Can I draw up a list of reasons I don't like you, Carl? <laughs> being honest. Well, I'll tell you, because the list of reasons I don't like you is incredibly long. I'm getting longer. Just saying. Do you want another slap? Yeah. Right, okay. Hold on. So. Oh, can I, can I, Steve, can I do that? Funny. I'm not being funny, right, but I think I have got like a bit of a wheat thing. You've got a bit of a what? A wheat allergy oh, thing. Oh, don't give me that! No, seriously, me head's, I've, I've been eating a lot of shredded wheat recently. <laughs> and me head's got a bit bigger. God, I don't think you can let us down now, mate. So just, you just gotta put that first No, I can't, in. I can't put that, like that, in my mouth on it's, with, I, I've what got to break it up, about? I've got to break it up. No, well, you can't break it up. It doesn't say you can on the rule I thing. it does. It's it doesn't, I can't look, I physically can't. Try it. The, the, I can't look. I'd have to be Jay Goody to get out of here. 
Seriously, look. Oh. Try, it, try it, try it, try it. Yeah, yeah, I know, but you're not doing, you're not approaching it right. That's oh, it. Oh, come on, go on! That's come all on. I'm stuck to keep oh, going. Oh, God, he's not gonna do one! Keep going, keep going, keep going. That's good work. That's good work. Keep going. How do they get clean? Keep pushing. Easy. Keep pushing. Easy. Keep pushing. Easy. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Get one in at least. Easy. Get one in at least. Get one in. Easy. Get one in. Push it. Push it. <laughs> that's one. That's one. Let's go with another one. Let's go one. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> keep going. Don't give up so early. This is part of the problem. You just give up, Carl, yeah, too quickly. You failed again. It's like your history O level. Come on, Carl. Be a, come on. Do something That's well. Wanted, Succeed at something. Push it in. You've got a whole, nearly a half a burger there. Or I'll come round. I'll come round there. You're chewing. Don't chew. I've got a bit of a <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he said, but. Is that a whole one? Is that a whole one? No, it's not. I can see bits left. Come on, Carl. Come on, keep I working on it. Keep working on it. But there's so much space in your mouth, I can see it. <laughs> He's going mad. Okay. Okay, we do another one. We we'll do another one. That one then. We're doing another. Oh, are you alright? <laughs> are you going to be sick? Are you alright? <laughs> alright. Uh. Oh God, should we play a record? Um, He's making my eyes water now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, oh, I'll find dear. a different one for you. Find a different one for you. What about most greats eaten in three minutes? I'll go. Do you want to do that? Great, it's easy, great mate. It. That's easy. Great. Come on, Come great, great easy. White Stripe, Seven Nation Army, that jumped twice. I apologise for that. You're the producer, Carl. Yeah. It jumped twice. Well, it's not, it's not my fault if people are slipping around because of burgers on the floor. <laughs> You're trying to squeeze my head when the song's playing. <laughs> what difference does that make? Well, anyway. Right. Um, don't take any- right, I've just, um, I've just got some grapes there. Um, we've, uh, we've counted them out. What's the record then? Okay, well, the most grapes eaten in three minutes, you've got three minutes, Carl, and you've got to beat Matt Hand from the UK, who consumed a total of 133 grapes, uh, in three minutes on the 8th of November 2001. Right, there's 150 so there. there's 150 in there. Right. Okay. So you've got three minutes. What are the rules? The rules you just are- You've just got to eat them and swallow them. And it's, it's like cool and Luke, right? you got to just stuff them in and don't choke, because I got worried with the burger. That's a good advert for McDonald's, isn't it? Not only was I impressed by the cheapness of them, but he couldn't even get one in his mouth. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. value for money there. Maybe they'd like to send us some free stuff. Yeah, free- free stuff. Or just money. Any some money would be good. Next, uh, week, Carl, you're eating Sony Walkmans. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Yeah. Available for- yeah. <laughs> Right. Um, right, Carl. Right, I think this is- this is gonna be good, right? What we're gonna do, right? We've got Song 2 by Blur set up. We know that's two minutes, so we can play that, because that'd be boring radio hearing Carl choke, wouldn't it, for yeah, three minutes? Exactly. So, when I say go, Carl, right, I'm gonna go right on the minute, right? You've got to have a handful of grapes and you've got to press Song 2 by Blur. When we come back, you'll be stuffing your face. Hold on! Are you gonna do that? Uh, can you- can you work the buttons? I can, can do, do that. I can no, do I don't that. think you can- no. you cannot touch the grapes until the opening note yeah, of Song 2 begins. Yeah, but hold on, when the- when the blur 2 when Song 2 stops, can we just press up the fader so you- cause you'll be stuck in the Don't worry, we're almost- we got- let's go- if we go, uh, okay. any second now. Okay, right, okay, ready, three, Carl. two, one, go! And he's off. It's good work from Carl there, he's just- he's approaching it cautiously to begin with. Cautiously. And he's just, he's, yeah, he's just, oh, he's just keeping it simple. Well, we're, we're just, you know, just keeping people up. Come on, don't, don't make him laugh, Rick. He's choking, he's choking. Oh, come on, come on. Quick! Keep going, Carl. Come on, come on. Come on! What happened? Did he just throw up? No! <laughs> Don't make him laugh! Oh, come on! We come can on. make we can make wine. <laughs> come on, Carl! You're doing come so on, well, Carl. mate. Come on, Carl! I want to go. Come on! Only. Uh... <laughs> Why are you making him laugh? That was a world record attempt. Come on! He's over the. <laughs> Keep going! Come, come on! Up. You got 25 seconds. <laughs> come on! Oh, I think that was. Uh, that was a shame, actually, because you were doing well, but something went wrong. I know, and I think those are bigger grapes than the ones I've seen before. They're quite big grapes, look at his face, he looks so despondent. Come on, Carl, eight seconds. Just a few more. Five. Come on, what's the matter? Two. Two. One. 
It's all over, Carl. It's all over. We better count how many you did. Just to... Cos we, we can get good at this. We can get good at this over the weeks. Now, I've got an idea, Carl, cos you're getting all stressed out. I don't know what it is. You're getting funny. I don't know what it is. I don't know what- Cos you're annoying me. Wow, well, you he say that. midweek. I don't- I don't think I annoy anyone else, so it's just you on that. So, I thought maybe we could all three of us go away to a little health farm for a weekend. Just get a, like a, a triple room right, and just- that, that isn't happening. Why? Well, you've just reminded me because you've been annoying me. Steve started getting on your case, you know, sort of ganging up on me. I'll tell you now, Steve, I just forgot. Remember a couple of weeks ago, you said to me that my pub team, pub quiz team is rubbish? Yeah. Right, well, it doesn't matter anymore because you're not part of it this time. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> That's bad because it's interesting you say that, Carl. Carl, you say that because I tell you this, I found <laughs> someone, I found someone, mate, who could be, uh, filling that tricky fifth member. I wanted to test them out this week, mate. On uh, your team, on your team. Test that on your team. Because Carl. I'll tell you what this is like, I don't know if you're familiar with, uh, Paul Ince, who used to play with Man United, uh -huh. right? But everyone used to say he's the governor, right? Even the players used to call him the governor, yeah. right? And Alex Ferguson at Man United was like, I'm not having this, yeah. I'm in charge here, and he got rid of him. And that's what's happened. You, you were moaning. The other week, saying you, 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 your team's rubbish, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Well, let's see how you do on your own. Right? Carl. Oh, he's turned, isn't he? I'll be honest, Carl. I'd like to be on your team. Well, sorry, uh, Paul Lince. <laughs> You'll have to go and join Middlesbrough or wherever it is he's gone to. Carl, right? what can I do to get back on your team? It's not happening. I've already filled you boots. Don't let him have the upper hand, Steve. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. I'll tell you what always annoys me, though. Ricky spends most of the show slagging you off, right, having a go at you, uh, annoying you in the week, squeezing your head, making you eat burgers, right, but you always take out on me. He I'm the one who always gets the insults, I'm the one who's now relegated from your team. Why, when, when, you see, this is the thing, you're just as bad as him, really, because you're siding against me, because you know that I'm, I'm willing to take it. You, what, it, the truth of it is this, you know <laughs> that Ricky Gervais is keeping you, <laughs> he's keeping you in burgers and grapes, metaphorically speaking. <laughs> he's so the one that's got you in Heat look, Magazine. I just spat all over you, do you? Because it's Rooker Records. You see? Get me a tissue. He's just squirted tea, laughing all over your Rooker Records. I'm you assuming I'm gonna get the flat for that. No, it, it's because you made me laugh when I was drinking, because you went, it's me, that, 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 and it made me laugh, and I spat. I just, I just think it upsets me that you, that you never, oh. you never pick on Ricky, you never ever go in, because you know he's, he's the one who's, ki who's raised your oh profile and God. made you a little bit of a celebrity. We've, mi we've missed one here, using his teeth, Raman Andy Appan, right, has to tow coconut. He did what? He husked the coconut. He's the fastest coconut husker in the world. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know, he pulls huskers, he pulls husks. What's that? Little <laughs> what's, what's a coconut husking? He, he pulls the husks off again. Look at Carl, just with his head down. Carl, come on. What's the matter? Cos that cost me twenty quid. I know, well I'll see you alright. I'll see you all over the world's smallest man. <laughs> Still him next to the world's biggest man. Right, I'm in a bad mood now. Oh dear. Well, I, I so you happy. haven't got a team, just Steve? I'll sort you out. Come to me. I'll sort you out. Seriously, Don't worry. No, I, I found win. someone who would help you win this week, Carl. And no, I was going to tell you about it. And now, Steve, you can be on my team this week. And, I've, and I know something about the quiz that Carl doesn't know. So, I'll so. tell you. I just think that it's it's so ungrateful. Whatever. So ungrateful.